Today we bringing the documentaries back, and we doing one of the money making demon himself, Trap Boy. We gonna be telling the story from the good to the bad, so get ready. It's about to be a good one. Trap Boy grew up in Mirror Park, but he spent most of his time in the streets of L.A. and the dangerous part at that. But then it'll all catch up to him when he got locked up. That's the story to start. Trap Boy was a cool person, getting his bread up, hustling. But then everything changed when his little cousin Lil J got murdered. The only thing he knew was get back. And he knows his little cousin would do the same for him. So it was only right. While Trap Boy was running with the mob, he learned how to be a boss. And what was the benefits of being a boss and leading his crew. And he carried that all the way to Harlem. And we're going to be talking about that shortly. Everything was going good for Trap Boy. But as they say, good things always got to come to an end. And that's what happened in his case. During the time that Trap Boy was in New York, he couldn't touch his money. And knowing Trap Boy, he wasn't just gonna wait around till he could touch it, so he was gonna get it by any means possible. And his first victim was a Greg Johnson male. Trap Boy ain't know who he killed, but he sold some money and wanted it. He started the war without knowing, but it's the streets, so you know somebody gonna come back. Greg Johnson tried to get the revenge by killing Trap Boy, but they ain't. But Trap Boy ended up killing them though. But from that moment, it was West Rochester versus Greg Johnson. It was a full on war, for sure. And I mean real war. After Greg Johnson tried to get revenge, Trap Boy got his get back. And after he got his get back, that would change Harlem forever. After everything went down, Trap Boy came back to Westminster. Only to see one of the Westminster youngins shot dead and killed. He was 14. His name was Lil Ron. After this, this will be the official birth of Ron City. Like the next day, and Trap Boy felt this one for sure. He ain't felt this way since Lil J had died. He felt like this was his fault, but he was gonna return the favor and make sure everybody from Greg Johnson had died. He was gonna make everybody from Greg Johnson pay. The girl that Trap Boy was dealing with put him on a lick on the Greg Johnson member, so he was headed up to the east side to go get what he wanted, to go get what he needed. killing the money maker Greg Johnson and it turns out to be the girl brother was actually Tay Money so it was a whole setup all along after the Tay Money murder Trap Boy kept a little profile in the now in hood 900 and he left little youngin his right hand man K thing take over Trap Boy was gonna go meet him with the Armenians and see what they had in store for him turns out to be the Armenians was scandalous People tried to tell Trap Boy that, but he never would listen, because the money was coming in so fast. But he ended up in a situation that people tried to tell him to back out of before it was too late. The Ron City vs. T-Town War was damn near done. But it was one more thing to be completed, and then it'll be officially over. Trap Boy had to do this behind bars or not, to maintain his dynasty and everything that he had worked for. Getting killed, Hilltop versus 11 9. 
it was hectic out here. Now Chapel had to figure out what he was gonna do. He thought it was gonna be easy, but things change in jail and shit. That just goes to show. After C thing getting killed, 11 hours they get back bad. They ain't one of the person who did it this time. And look who they caught. Hill Top Romeo or Chris Romeo. Focus on present day, Chapel got a little brother fucking up the streets of Harlem. I was about to. So documentary coming up on him soon, for sure. I know at the time of this recording, y'all probably just heard that Risky Wild team has been hacked. And that shit kinda fucked up, cause like, who would take their energy out to hack another nigga channel, you know what I'm saying? And my nigga Roz, he, he really worked hard for that 8K. Niggas never, n- niggas never could do what he did, bro. And I feel like that shit fucked up, but niggas gonna keep on shining double R, man. I'm out this bitch.